All right, first and foremost, I want to give all praises to Yahweh. It's the true name of the Heavenly Father, you know, the ancient Hebrew name of the Heavenly Father, man. By Hashem in the name, Yahweh Shai, the true name of uh, our Lord and Savior, man. You know, of the Lord and Savior of the nation of Israel, you so called Negroes, Hispanics, Latinos, and Native Americans, and nobody else, man. But right now, he, you know, only the elect is going to be saved right now, man. You know, um, Double honors to the elders and apostles and great millstone that rule well. Sanitation, peace, and love to the elect that's around the uh, four corners of the earth, man. You know, and I'm going to start just lesson off with Romans 8, man. You know, because, man, look, no matter what you're going through, you just got to go through it, man. You know, you got to, you got to, you got to, you got to basically put in your mind, man. You got to already have your mind prepared, man. You know, look. Some days gonna be good, some days gonna be tough, man. But no matter, man, no matter what you go through, you just gotta put in your mind. I'm gonna have faith in you, how about show me how to shine? I'm gonna go through whatever I have to go through, man. You got to set your mind on that, man. You know, that's that's part of the faith all about, man. Just, just no matter, you you not walking by sight, basically, man. No matter what happened in this physical realm, true enough, it's gonna affect you. It's gonna make you feel a certain type of weight, man. But you still got to have that faith to look. I just got to walk through whatever I got to walk through, man. Um, this Romans chapter 8, starting at, um, start at verse 18. It said, For I reckon that the sufferings of this present time are not worthy to be compared with the glory which shall be revealed in us. Right, and that's, hey, remember that, man. These sufferings, so no matter what we're going through, man, you got to remember to stay spiritual, you know, and that's another thing, man. You can't never stop the flesh from arising when something happens, man. Your whole job is to mortify the members of the flesh when they, when they do arise, man. You know, when that anger rises up in you, a uh, corneality, man. You gotta you gotta catch it and rebuke it in the name of your high by shim have a shot. And, and remember to stay spiritual, man. You know, because you can't stop the flesh from flaring up, man. Especially if something happens, you you feel ain't right. You know, you might know it ain't right, but then you gotta think back, man. Everything is predestinated, so you gotta put that in your mind. Everything predestinated, whatever you're going through is already predestinated. By your how about you have a shot, man? So just walk that line, and you know, walk through. The, hey, just walk through that fire, man. But with faith, knowing you ain't knowing you ain't doing it alone, man. Remember that, like the Lord said, man, his angel and camp, camp around about him that fear him, man, and keep his commandments, man. So, remember that, man, you know. Um, it said, for the earnest expectation of the creatures waited for the manifestations of the sons of the Most High. You know, everybody feeling their suffering and their pain, man, you know. But if you got somebody not into, into the truth, man, you know, they don't know how to deal with it, man. So, the scriptures I already tell you, oppression make the wise man mad. You know, the oppression make a man who wise snap out, man. You know, so how much more a man who, who not wise? They don't know the truth, man. You know, so, um, verse 20, man. So like it said, the earnest expectation of the creature waiting for the manifestation of the sons of the Most High. Everybody suffering, man. They don't understand, you know, they don't understand that, you know, if the Most High ain't got the, well, you know, if they not part of the elect, they don't understand the, the bigger picture of everything to come, man, you know, but we do, we got to remember that when we walk in this land, man, because it's not going to get easier, it's only going to get harder, your faith has to continue to grow and grow to the next level, man. It said, for the creature was made subject to vanity, not willingly, but by reason of him who has subjected the same in hope. That's another thing, man. When you go off and you mess up, remember this, man. You was made subject to vanity, man. You look that word, subject means, you know what subject means, man. To, to, to subordinate, to subjugate. You, you was made subject to vanity, man. I'm going to get that word vanity right there. But it say by reason of him, who shall subjected the same in hope. So you was made subject to vanity, and you was made subject to hope. Because that's what you say by it. That faith and that hope, man. If you went through life perfectly, why would you, why would you have to have hope? 
Why you have to have faith if you never went out? Why you have to have hope in, in your house by shooting have a shot, man? I'm gonna get that word um, vanity right there. It'll say not willingly, but by reason of him. By who is that him? You have a by shooting you have a shot, man. He was injected the same in hope. Get that word vanity right there, man. You gotta remember, man, you nothing, man. Remember that, man. You got this truth by the mercies of your high by shooting your high shot, but at the end of the day, you still nothing, man. All our righteousness is that's filled to rags, man. Remember that. You you that same creature that was made subject to vanity, man. So it ain't no room to boast or none of that, man. All this room for us to pray, ask the Lord to have mercy, and, and just try to um, you know. That's rehearses the righteous acts, man. That's all there's room for, man. But it's number one thing is have faith and, and then and just pray for continuously for the mercies of the Lord, man. Because that's the only thing that's reserving you, man. It's the only thing that's reserving us. Get that vanity. Let me say the creature was made subject to vanity. Mateates. Um, he said, "What is devoid of truth and appropriateness? Appropriateness, appropriateness, appropriateness. So, what is devoid of truth and appropriateness? This Jew was made subject to me. Remember that. You know. That's why we have to be um, changed into those new bodies, man. That's why the Lord can't stand and look upon us, man. That's this. This what it means. We say you was born in a sin, man." No good thing dwelling in his flesh. But this is what you were made subject to. What is devoid of truth and appropriateness, perverseness, depravity, fertility, want of vigor, man. So this is what you was made subject to. So remember that, man. So that, that, that and remember you would be nothing, man. You got to remember that, man. You just got to continuously to walk in faith, man. And the mercies of your have by shooting you have a shot, man. You know? But uh, verse 21. Because the creature itself also shall be delivered from the bondage of corruption into the glorious liberty of the children of the Most High, man. Right. And eventually the whole nation of Israel is going to get this right now. The elect, you know, it's for the elect first, man. You know? For we know that the whole creation groaneth and travaileth in pain together into that, man. So the whole creation groaneth and travaileth in the pain, man. You know? And not only they, but ourselves also, which have the first fruits of the Spirit, even we ourselves grown within ourselves, waiting for the adoption to wit the redemption of our body, man. So that's what we waiting on, man. You know? Then we'll, then we'll be able to glory, man, because we'll be made like unto the Most High, man. But we still going to glory in Him, man. But right now, it ain't no glory and ain't none of that, man. You know? You see somebody else messing up and, and correct them, man. You know, you supposed to do that, man. But if you got in your man frame, oh, I knew that, I knew he was gonna do this, I knew that person was gonna do that, and you got in your man, you want him to fail, man. That's a wicked, that's a wicked spirit on you, man. That's a wicked spirit on you, man. You know, you got in your man, you want certain people to fail, man. You know, the most high gonna deal with you, man. If you don't repent from that, man, you know? Because the scriptures tell you the, right, the prayer of a righteous man availeth much, man. You know? Remember to pray for pray for pray for brothers, man. You know? Everybody gonna go off, man. You know? Everybody was made subject to vanity, man. You know? Remember that, man. And, and the reason I'm doing this um the video, man, because I'm gonna read all the way down to the end of this chapter, man. 
because you part of the elect, man. You know, and this for the elect, man. I ain't do all things for the elect's sake, man. Like Paul said, man. You know, which, which, I get it right quick, man. Since I, since I quoted it, man. I quoted it through the spirit of your have my shim, you have a shot, man. You know? Second Timothy 2 and 10. Therefore I endure all things for the elect's sakes, that they may also obtain the salvation which is in Hamashiach Yahweh with eternal glory. Right, man. So remember that too, man. You ain't enduring it, but you ain't enduring. It ain't just for you, man. You enduring all things for the elect's sakes too, man. Remember that. Put that in your mind, man. You know? It ain't about you, man. Going to Galatians, man. Let every brother look on to the things of the next brother, man. You know, that's what it's all about, man. Not you, man. You work out your own salvation with fear and trembling, man. You know, that's more that you know, you do that, man. But remember, we enduring all things for the elect's sakes, man. You know, that they may also obtain the salvation which is in your house Hamashiach with the torn of glory, man. So remember that, man. You no. Know? Not only they, but ourselves also, which have the first fruits of the Spirit. We ourselves grown within ourselves, waiting for the adoption to wit the redemption of our body. Right, man? So we grown within ourselves too, man. No? For we are saved by hope. But hope that is seen is not hope. For what a man see it, why does he yet hope for it, man? No? But if we have hope, then what's the scripture say? Hope that is deferred. It make it sickness to the bone, man. You know? But the, the hope we have, we see the prophecies coming to pass, man. You know? So we understand that it's just a patience thing, man. We understand that we on the most high time, man. That's another thing brothers got to remember, man. And, and, and the sisters and, and, and whoever listens to the videos, man. That's another thing you got to remember, too, man. No man is on your time, man. We all is on your how about shim and how shy time, man. You know? It ain't no timeline where you give give a brother to do something or do this, man. You know? Uh you think, oh, he ain't done this in time, so let me do this, let me let me say this about him or do this about him. That, that brother got his own relationship with your how about shim and how shy, man. You know? We all on your how about shim and how shy time, man. So don't get in your mind for oh, hey, he ain't do this quick enough. Let me let me do let me do. Let me talk about it. Let me say this. Let me do this. Nah, man. You no. Know? Ain't no bad. We all on your how about shim, you have a shot time, man. You no. Know? Likewise, on verse 25. But if we hope for that we see not, then do we patient with patience wait for it, man. Come. Likewise, the spirit also help with our infirmities. For we know we know not what we should pray for as we are. But the Spirit itself making intercession for us with groanings which can not be uttered. And this goes to those the, the first fruits of the spirits, man. Which that's that's the elect, man. That hundred and forty four thousand, man. And he that searches the hearts knows what is the mind of the spirit, because he make an intercession for the saints according to the will of the uh you have about shim, you have shot of the most high, man. You no. Know? Um and we know that all things work together for good to them that love the most high, to them who are called according to his purpose. So remember that, man. Anything that happened, no matter what it is, man, you know, no matter what it is, man, bad or good, it's all working together for the good of him that love the most high, man. Everything's predestined your life already wrote out, man. You got to walk through that fire, man. Um, verse 29 For whom he did foreknow He also prede did predestinate To be conforming to the image of his son That he might be the firstborn Amongst many brethren Come. Moreover 
whom he did predestinate, them he also called. And whom he called, them he also justified. And whom he justified, them he also glorified, man. So if you part of the elect, the Lord gonna justify you. I can't justify you. Can't no man justify you. Remember that too, man. You know? This is how by Shim how Shad that justified, man. You know? We correct each other. We exhort each other. You know, we rebuke each other, man. But at the same time, remember, you can't justify no man. It's the how by Shim how Shad that's gonna justify you. And that next brother, man, or sister, or child, you know, the elect period, man. What should we say then to these things? If the most high be for us, who can be against us, man? So if you have my shim, you have a shy, it's for you, man. It don't matter who against you, man. Remember that, man. These are the words of comfort, man. These, 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 these things you have to remember in this day-to-day -day life, man. Walking in the valley of the shadow of death, man. Walking in the Babylon, man. You no. Know? And he that spared not his own son, but delivered him up for us all, how should he not with him also freely give us all things? Come. Who shall lay anything to the charge of the most high's elect? It is the most high that justified, man. So if you part of the elect, man. In the end of the day, it don't matter what nobody say about you, man. You know? What nobody think about you. Or none of that, man. If you part of the elect, it, it, you know, it's going to be the most high that justified, man. You know? So, the scripture said, he that endured to the end, the same shall be saved, man. Then it say, then you should know who am I chosen, man. You know? So, that's what we waiting to see still, man. You know? You know, and the scripture tell you what the elect are going to be doing, man. You know? But at the same time, you can't get proud about none of that, man. Paul did his whole ministry. And at the end, he was basically like, look, it's my departure is at hand. And I basically, I fought a good fight. And I, I still hope to be saved, man. You know? And Paul's Paul still waiting on that salvation, man. You know? He's still waiting on that, um... He's still waiting to be delivered from the bondage of corruption, man, to the glorious liberty. If, if, if he's back in the real carnation right now, man. But he, but even if he's not, he's still waiting on that, man. Because we haven't been, you know, the kingdom haven't been set up and we haven't been delivered from this bondage, this, these, these, uh, chi this bondage of corruption, man, which is this flesh, man. Who is he that condemned? It is the it is it is uh Yahweh Shah Hamashiach that died, yea rather, that is risen again, who is even at the right hand of the most high, who also make an intercession for us. Come. Who should separate us from the love of Mashiach Yahweh Shah? Should tribulation or distress or persecution or famine or nakedness or peril or sword, man? Right. So none of this can separate you from the love of Yahweh, why Yahweh Shai, man, if you part of the elect, man, nothing can't separate you from that, man, so remember that, man, you know, like the scripture say, man, even if you get rebuked, it says, scripture said, um, despise not the chastisement of the Lord, meaning don't take it lightly, then it said, faint not, fight, faint not when you are rebuked, it mean, don't get weak and mentally or nothing, man, you know, you analyze yourself, you examine yourself, but don't fall into no weak mental stage, man, and consume, and, and let that spirit consume you, man, now, man, you know, if you go off, you, you, the Lord said, confess your sins before him, man, and have faith he gonna forgive you, and, and keep it moving, man, you know, as it is written, for thy sake we are killed all the day long, we are accounted as sheep for the slaughter, Nay, in all things, we are more than conquerors through him that love us, man. Remember this, man. For I am persuaded. So you got to be persuaded, man. And let every man be persuaded in his own mind. And neither death, nor life, nor angels, nor principalities, nor powers, nor things present, nor things to come, nor height, nor death, nor depth nor any other creature shall be able to separate us from the love of the Most High. 
from the love of Yahweh, which is in Yahweh Shah Mashiach, our Lord, man. So remember that, man. If you, if you know, you have faith that you part of the elect, man. But you, you just have a hope that you part of the elect, man. You know? But you got to remember, man, if you part of the elect, can't nothing separate you, man. You got that hope that you part of the elect and that spirit on you. Just remember, man, in the end, can't nothing no man say, no man do to separate you from the love, man. Or you have by shit, you have a shot, man. You know? Because man going to talk shit. Sometimes they going to be right, and sometimes they going to be wrong, man. But at the end of the day, you don't get caught up in all that. You just keep going. And remember, man, keep your eyes fixed on the author and finisher of your faith, man. You know? Um... Couple more scriptures I want to get. This is um this is Psalms 51st chapter starting at verse 1. Have mercy upon me, O my power, according to thy loving kindness, according unto the multitude of thy tender mercies, blot out my transgressions. Wash me thoroughly from mine iniquity, and cleanse me from my sin. For I acknowledge my transgressions, and my sin is held before me, man. Acknowledge your transgressions and, 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 and you know, and pray till you have by shim and have a shot, man. If you part of the lick, those sure mercies of David is gonna fall upon you, man. You know? Um against thee, thee only have I sinned and done this evil in thy sight. Come, that thou mightest be justified when thou speakest, and be clear when thou judgest. Because behold, I was shaping in iniquity, and in sin did my mother conceive me, man. Behold. Thou desirest truth in the inward parts, and in the hidden part, thou should make me to know wisdom, man. So that's where the Most High desires truth in the inward part, man. You can say this or do that, man, but the Most High knows how you feel on the inside, man. So remember that, man. If you know you're repenting on the inside, you got that sorrowful spirit for whenever you go out, man. The Most High know that, man. You know, man can't see on the inside of you, man. You remember that, man. You know? That's why the scripture said, judge not according to appearance, but judge righteous judgments, man. You know? You say the most high don't, don't judge how man judges according to the flesh, but he wear the heart, man. You know? So remember that too, man. You know? But just like the scripture said, the most high desire is truth in the inward parts, man. You know? Now I'm, I'm, I'm going to get two more scriptures, man. I'm going to close that, man. This is 2 Samuel, chapter 24, um, verse 14. And David said unto the Most High, I am in a great strait. Right, this is when David went off and numbered Israel. Man, the Most High gave him three, um, he gave him, he gave him three options, man. You know? Let us fall into the hand of the Lord, for his mercies are great. And let me not fall into the hand of man, man. Right, man. Because men can be un unmerciful at times, man. They can claim to be merciful, but they but they actions are so different, man. Their words are so different, man. You know? So, hey, just like the scripture said, man. Let me fall into the hands of the Lord, man. For his mercies are great, man. You know? Read it again, and David said unto the most... And David said unto Gad, it's a lock. I am in a, in, a, in a great strait. Let us fall now into the hand of the Lord, for his mercies are great. And let me fall into the and, and let me not fall into the hand of man. Come, man. You know, I'm 
get one more scripture, man, and I'm going to uh, close out. This is Sirach chapter 2, verse 17. I'm just going to read verse 18. Sirach 2 and 18. Saying, We will fall into the hands of the Lord, and not into the hands of men. For, he, for as His majesty is, so is His mercy, man. You know? So remember that, man. And remember, man, don't forget, man. Mercy should, mercy should be flowing out of you, man, no matter what, man. You know? Mercy should be a natural instinct to you, man. You know? And with that, man, our praises go to Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, man. Because that's what's going to justify everybody in the end, man. No man can't justify no one. You know, no man, I can't justify no one. No man can justify me, man. We prove each other, we correct each other, we exhort each other, and all that, man. You know? And at the end of the day, remember, man. It's your have by Hashem, you have a shot at justifying it. You know? Um, by Hashem, Rakaq In the name of the Holy Spirit. Double honors to the apostles and the elders at Great Millstone and Ruth Well, man. Say, taste your peace and love to the elite. You know? Neither death, nor famine, nor sword, nor peril. Nothing can separate you, man. You know, from the love of the Most High, man. You know? With that, man, shalom.